and you know what? This is probably... Substitution this is a completely new group for the East All-Stars. And some changes here for the West All-Stars. And the West All-Stars, looking at who they've got. Young is out there with Taylor. And there's Davis. Then it's Julius Randle. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. This has become the must-see event of the year, which is obvious by all the star power in attendance here tonight. Well, certainly the Hollywood crowd is on hand. The biggest names from the sports world, music stars. Everybody wants to be a part of All-Star Week. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. And All-Star Week is one great show after another. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Booker outside. In the corner, George with it. Here's Mobley. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and a free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. West All-Stars lead by six. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back for the second quarter of the main event of All-Star Weekend. And you can see these players now starting to get into a rhythm. Should see a lot better flow to the game here in the second quarter. That's usually the case. I mean, it takes some time to deal with your teammates at the All-Star game. Sure On the court right now, the second quarter starts for the West All-Stars. They've got Taylor. Davis is out there with Randall. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Young in at the guard position. And you know the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. Booker with no one around. Oh, good with the triple. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the West All-Star. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And here are the East All-Stars. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Halliburton is just one of those young guys that has a really well-rounded game. Makes shots pretty much from anywhere on the floor. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the West All-Stars. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And he's able to get it back. No problem knocking that one. Daniel's got seven points here in this quarter. A fantastic decision-making big. Randall with the right choice there, finding the open man. Here's Booker. Makes that Two one after missing his first six that shot attempts. Booker. One for seven and hungry for more. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Count that one. Sure Taylor's got the lead up to 11 now for the West All-Stars. Well, I think, yeah. as is always the case, the story of the game tonight won't have a lot to do with defense. That's the way it always is. I mean, a half-court alley-oop or a spectacular behind-the-back pass, that's exactly what the people want to see in this game. And it's Halliburton missing. The West leading by 11. For the three. And he nails it. The three-pointer falls from Taylor. Taylor's got 14 points for the game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist total, they've been clearly the better team. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. It's tipped. Sabonis, the pass to Halliburton. Back to Sabonis. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Middleton kicks to Taylor. 
no question he got bumped on Devin that shot. Booker. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Last All-Stars shooting their Taking fifth and sixth shots. free throws of the game. Free throw good. Both teams will make substitutions. Time out, West and, you know, the fan voting is what determines the starters in the All-Star game. Then the coaches will decide on the reserves. But either way, whether you're picked by the fans or the coaches, earning the title NBA All-Star, that's an honor none of these players will ever forget. Timeout called here. The West All-Stars decide to talk it over. Well, Greg, one thing we know for sure, you know that every player who earned a spot on this roster is going to see his share of action spreading the minutes evenly, as you've always talked about, is always a top priority for these All-Star Game coaches. And you're so right, Kevin. I mean, for all the hard work these players put in to get here, I mean, each one deserves a chance, if you will, to share the spotlight. It's one of the great things about the All-Star Game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Curry. movement here by the east the shot by out of the kumbo nobody around and a great assist by gilgis alexander as that one goes in gilgis alexander's got three assists tonight the west leading by 11 taylor taking his time here shoots over gilgis alexander taylor shot good taylor's got 18 points They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Gilgis Alexander against Taylor. Gilgis Alexander with it. Still without a basket. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And a three-level score. That time, SCA takes it all the way. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Good on that shot. And with that, the first All-Stars lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Curry. Taylor against Gilgis Alexander. And he nearly the three. Nice shot from beyond the arc there from Taylor. Taylor's got 21. Well, he's really been on a roll this morning. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Tatum passes to Gilgis Alexander. And another three from the East. In the first half of his season, boy, how special has it been? He has been on a rampage. Yeah, and he's got tremendous talent. And when he's fully healthy and engaged, I mean, he's really impossible to stop. That's what we've been seeing this year. From out of and out of bounds. And out of bounds. The East All-Stars will have it. And some changes here for the West All-Stars. for the first half of play. West All-Stars out in front. They're up by nine. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Time to strap in as we get set to bring you the. So a close game sees the West All Stars taking this one. And it's impossible to know what's going to happen in these games. The talent on both sides is always so strong. But tonight, the West seemed a little more comfortable playing together as a unit, and that's what earned them the win. You mentioned that all broadcast long, and sure enough, it came to fruition. That brings us to the conclusion of our all-star coverage. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. For